Hey friends, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I have posted a video, but I'm excited to be back. It's been a whirlwind of a month and we're just in the middle of the whirlwind. We still have so much stuff coming up, um, but we are going to start packing and because we're moving and we're moving in like a couple of weeks so we really need to get going on it we've officially sold our house which is so exciting and such a relief um selling a house is a lot more work than i ever anticipated it being and especially trying to sell a house with very small children living in the home we had to clean our house and i call it panic cleaning um because that's literally what it was. We would find out, oh, somebody is coming to see the house. We need to panic clean. I can explain just more of like the process later, but I'm just so relieved that that is done with and that just happened yesterday. So that's exciting. Um, right now we are going to a paint store. We're gonna pick up some paint samples uh, because the place that we're moving into needs a little bit of work, um, just a little bit of love. So we're gonna pick up some paint samples and um, have those ready. And then we also are gonna go to, I don't know where we're gonna go, um, and get some moving boxes. It's kind of like deja vu because we have moved this will be our seventh move in seven years. Those are the two big things on our to-do to -do list today. And then when we get home, we're gonna start packing. We sold our house, but we don't have to be out of the house for an entire month. We're renting our current house back from the people who bought it from us. So we are going to be able to move slowly, which is a beautiful thing. And now we are at Lowe's and we're gonna go inside and check out more paint and a few other things. Our goal in coming to Lowe's today was really just to see what options are out there and kind of allow ourselves to dream, also get prices for things. We would one day love to kind of fix up a house and make it our own. The house that we currently live in that we just sold it is a beautiful house. It's a newer build and some of the features or I guess some, some of the finishes were not necessarily our style, but they were way too nice and beautiful to kind of justify ripping it all out in our opinion. So we never did. We left it as it was, but, but we would really like to make a house our own. We think that that would be kind of fun. So today we were looking at three things. We were looking at backsplash, countertops, and vanities. So we are at Lowe's right now and we're looking at some backsplash. And I like, where is it? These, am I pointing at this? Those two right there. They have a little bit of um, texture to them and I think they're really pretty. But of course, they're $1.19 per piece. They're so pretty though. But then there's this, which is hard to see, but this is very simple white subway tile and then that's the pretty one that I like this one is 15 cents per piece so I'm gonna have to make some decisions this is the medium-sized subway tile that I had just showed you this is what it looks like together it's really pretty it was only 15 cents per tile that is way more affordable all right so we are back from all of our errands we went to Benjamin Moore once, then we went to Lowe's uh, because I thought that I needed Sherwin-Williams paint. And so we went to Lowe's, we looked around, saw all kinds of really fun things and we got to dream a little bit. Um, and then I went to the paint section and realized that I actually needed all three paint samples from Benjamin Moore. So we went back to Benjamin Moore and I ended up with these colors okay so i have white dove simply white and swiss coffee the swiss coffee i actually need it at 75 percent tinted um, but they weren't able to do that in the samples because i guess it was too small so i'll just have to keep that in mind when we're looking at our samples and then 
Andrew saw this really cool idea where you buy really inexpensive pieces of wood and you paint the pieces of wood your different paint sample colors and then you can carry these pieces of wood around the house and like place them in different rooms that way you don't have to paint splotches or yeah samples all over every different room you can just carry these around with you so uh, we got some of those we stopped into a children's consignment store and Andrew had seen these shoes the other day and he told me about them and I knew I wanted them for Emmy. Um, they're Converse high tops and they're so cute I think. And then I saw these and these are like one size too big for Emmy, but they were $4.50 and they're in really good condition. So I grabbed these for Emmy, I could not pass them up. And then we came home and I fixed myself some lunch really quick. I just had leftover beans. We had burritos last night, so I just had the leftovers in like a corn tortilla for just a really quick lunch. And now I'm gonna go upstairs and start packing Emmy's room, I think. We have to go pick up the kids from school here pretty soon, but um, I wanna see if I can get some packing done. So let's go do that. So I am in Emmy's room now. And I kind of just want to get like a small space packed away just so I have that like feeling of accomplishment, I think. Although this is going to be a tricky room to start in because it's a lot of decision making. She has a lot of toys in here that we need to rehome. And so I'm going to have to make a lot of decisions, but also I'm just going to get pretty much every single toy out of here and it's either going to be donated or go in a box to the new place. I just want it all out of here and I'll save her out, I think her Barbie dolls because she does play with those pretty much every day. So I'll save those out for her and then I'll pack everything else up. Um, I'll show you but there's a bunch of clothes in here that need to be um, like put in a sterilite container and put in storage. But I think once I get this done, it's going to feel really, really good. And then everything else is just going to be really fast. Uh, just like taking furniture out of the room. So. I have been following a girl on Instagram for years now. And her name is Jessie Martin. And she has moved her family. Uh, they're actually moving states right now, but for a while they were living in an RV. And she said that she, you know, put all of her kids' toys away. I think she has four kids. She had somebody ask her how like the toy rotation was going, and she said that she actually never really pulled out any of the toys that she put in storage. And her kids played so well. They played imagination, they built forts and they played with the few toys that they did have. And she said it really showed her how few toys kids really need to have a good time and it allows them to use their imaginations and things like that. And I have definitely seen that to be the case, at least I've seen the opposite to be the case, that when your kids have too many toys, it overwhelms them and they don't end up playing with them at all. So I am gonna give her her Barbies and see how she does with that, but I don't really know if I'm gonna give her much back. We'll kind of just have to play it by ear and see how it goes, but. I'm gonna show you what we are having for dinner tonight. This might seem like a really random meal, but it's a meal that I grew up on as a kid. My brother and I ate this meal all the time. It's kielbasa sausage that's like seared in a pan, rice aroni, and steamed broccoli, or sometimes we did Brussels sprouts. It's really good, and most importantly, it's really easy. Like I said, I'm trying to make meals that are super simple, but still like cooked at home, not takeout or fast food. Um, this meal is also very affordable, but also it's really nostalgic for me. I just remember sitting in my house in my dining room table and my mom cooking this and just the smells and the flavors it all takes me back to my childhood ready 
I had to pause uh, packing up Emmy's room because I had to go pick up the kids from school and then we stopped at the grocery store on our way home and we got some kielbasa and rice aroni for dinner tonight. I really need to sit down and uh, meal plan just some really simple meals because right now we are in such a busy season of life that cooking like gourmet from scratch meals is just not practical although we are making it a priority to still cook our dinners so I really need to um, meal plan some simple meals for this upcoming week I also maybe after like this week and this weekend I would like to make some freezer meals stick those in the freezer so we have them already done and I can just pull them out thaw them and cook them and that would be really easy but anyways we had kielbasa for dinner tonight and that was yummy and um so then we just did like stuff for the kids played outside for a little bit and did baths i just finished putting them to bed actually one of mine is still up but i'm going to tackle this kitchen right now i need to unload the dishwasher and do dishes kitchen is now all cleaned i'll put the rest of the stuff away tomorrow so uh it has actually been a couple of days since I last filmed and I didn't really get a whole lot done in Emmy's room. I got a lot of like the toys cleaned up um, and packed away. I ended up throwing a lot of trash away. So it just feels really good. I did get some stuff done in there, but it's not finished. And then it was the weekend and we had to pause everything because all the kids were home. So it is Monday now and um, my two older kids are in school. We do have our little one home littlest one home so we're gonna try and get everything done with him here but I am in our master bathroom right now and I'm gonna try and pack up as much as I can there's definitely a lot of things in here that we don't use on a daily basis that we can go without for like a month so I am going to go through all of this and clear out all the cabinets and try and get this packed up another reason why I would like to get this area all cleaned up is because Hudson comes in here and he likes to open up the cabinets and take everything out. So if I can clean all this up and pack it away, then he can't do that anymore. This feels like deja vu. I mean, how many times have y'all packed up a house with me? This particular scene reminds me so much of packing up that Charleston apartment. And um, I just can't believe how far we have come and what kind of things we're up to these days. It's just so different from that time when it was just me, Andrew, Emmy, and then Oakley joined us right before we moved out of that apartment. But I believe this is our third time, me and you, my YouTube fam, packing up a house together. So I have actually cleared everything out of this cabinet and I've set aside uh, in various places the things that I'm keeping. And it actually is more than I would probably need to because like it's like nail stuff, tanning stuff. And that's because there's a wedding that I'm in at the end of the month. And so I need to hold all that stuff out so I know where it is. But everything else is going to be packed up. I have a medium sized box and I have this container right here that's actually completely emptied out. And so I think I'm going to just start filling things into here to kind of like condense my space um and utilize my space the best that it can be the master master bathroom is pretty much all packed away i'll show you what it looks like now i have saved out only the things that we're going to need for the upcoming weeks and everything else is in boxes. So we have this big bag of trash, which is always nice. And then this is all cleared out, except for what I'll need. Same with all of this stuff. This is all stuff we'll need. Okay. This is stuff that I'll need. And then down here, Hudson has already gone through this. <laughs> But this is just stuff we'll need this week. And I actually went ahead and took out, I had organizers in here, but I went ahead and took those out and packed them away as well. 
And this is Andrew's side. Looking really good. And so here is, it all fit in one box, which was so nice. Um, here's everything all packed up nice and neat. I put it in a medium box to make sure that it didn't get too heavy. And I was able to put everything in. And then whenever I'm in a room and I am packing it, I have a couple piles going on. So in this case, I had actually, it was a lot bigger. I've already given some stuff to my mom. She had stopped by today. Um, but this is stuff that I am going to be uh, giving away or donating. I have this stuff that I'm actually just going to put all in one pile. It's my organizers. Um, my goal in packing and moving is to not take a bunch of junk with us. So as I am packing things up, I'm also decluttering and going through all of it. So it does take a little bit more effort. I could totally just throw it all in a box and it would be done. But I really don't want to take things to the new place that we don't need, we don't want. I would love to kind of start with a fresh, clean, more minimal slate. So it's hard. It's so hard. And I know that I'm paying packing things that I still will probably end up tossing. Um, maybe as I'm unpacking, I can kind of make those decisions again. I don't know, but we're in the basement now. Let me show you kind of what we've done down here. Okay, so this actually doesn't look a whole lot different than it did, um, but Andrew and I went through all of these bins and we first organized everything and then we got rid of a lot. Andrew has gone to Goodwill and the dump and he had two huge uh, trash bags full of stuff. One was for the dump and one was for uh, donations. But um, so this is going to just be packed up and moved kind of as is. I still need to make decisions with like these little toys, but everything is just gonna be like moved as is. We'll just probably take those containers out and um, take them to the truck and then someone will carry this um, and then when we get to the new place we will set it back up just like this. Andrew has already gone through this bathroom and that's just you know leftover stuff that we'll use but everything has been packed away in boxes. This was all full of like first aid kit stuff that's all cleared away actually go ahead and take this out this will go in our decor stash and then this is what was our office slash guest bedroom and he took down the bed that was in here rolled up the rug this is the box full of bathroom stuff um, so the last things I need to do in here is go through these drawers pack up all this stuff all these cupboards um, and then that book shelf and then this room will be completely done. I am now back in Emmy's room and I'm gonna tidy up loose ends. It's kind of messy in here. Um, but I have her box right here and it's full of toys and I've also got some decor in there that I know I'm gonna probably just put back up in the new place. So I'm gonna finish um, just kind of taking down the things that I know I can go ahead and put away I'm not super sentimental and sad moving from this house for some reason, except in Emmy's room. I loved her room. I loved the wallpaper and I don't know, just everything about it I really loved. I think it was the wallpaper. So I'm kind of sad that um, we don't get to take the wallpaper with us. I know I can always buy it again, but just the shape of Emmy's room, that big old window, the cute little chandelier. I don't know, everything about it. I'm just a little sad to leave her room. Of all the rooms, hers is the most special to me. It is again the next day now and all three kids are uh, either at school or babysat and so Andrew and I are taking advantage of this time that is kid free to be out in the garage. This is a full a full day project and we need full focus and un uninterrupted time in here. So we're gonna hopefully knock all of this out or at least get as much done as we possibly can. So Andrew has been working over here to clear this out. It had um, car stuff, fishing stuff, yard stuff. 
and looks like right now he's over here working on his tools. I know it probably seems weird that we have food stored out in our garage, um, but this is how I always grew up storing food. We lived in Southern California and there just wasn't a lot of space in the kitchens and so out in the garage was the only place to store food. We never have had any rodent problems. We've always had cats that were able to go out in the garage and I think that's why we never had rodent problems and I never had any like pest, any kind of pest problems in my food. So I don't know. I know it's a little weird, but uh, this is hopefully the last time we'll have to have food stored out in the garage, which is good. So Andrew is out in the garage. I have pretty much done all that I can out there. I got the food taken care of. Um, I like just took some stuff to the car for him for donations and the dump. And I feel like I did one more thing. I can't remember what it is, but I, instead of just watching him, decided that I would come inside. And um, this bench area is actually storage. And so I'm gonna unpack, I'm gonna pack, I guess unload from here and pack all of this stuff into boxes. It's stuff that we don't use on a daily basis. Um, it's things like extra storage containers, stuff for hosting when we have company um, or parties, big appliances that we don't use on a daily basis or that we can do without until we are moved into the new place. I'm trying not to cook like uh, very detailed meals, complicated meals. I'm just trying to cook like very basic uh, to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm gonna pack all that up um, and we'll see how we're doing time-wise or energy-wise and then maybe I'll start packing up the kitchen, but we'll start with here first. So I have three boxes. It took three boxes to get everything from the benches. Ooh, that was a yucky sound. And these are pretty heavy. Uh, in my experience, medium boxes are the way to go. It's big enough that you can fit a lot of stuff in it, but they don't get so heavy that you can't lift them. Um, I always forget how many boxes it takes to move. This is our seventh time moving. Uh, so you'd think that I would remember by now, but we've already been to Lowe's multiple times for boxes and uh, we, you know, we found a couple boxes, so that was good, but we're definitely going to need a lot more boxes. <laughs> I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling motivated and like I'm on a roll. So I'm going to probably move on into the kitchen and see if I can tackle some stuff in here. Well, I ran out of boxes, so I think that I am going to stop packing for the day. I packed four and a half boxes just in the kitchen alone, and there's still more things that I need to pack. I have uh, like our dishes, the kids' dishes, some pots and pans that we use every day, utensils. I still have to get under the kitchen sink and the medicine cabinet, so I'm about maybe two thirds of the way done. Um, but I feel good having gotten done as much as I did get done. But I think that I'm going to wrap up this video and um, I may or may not do another uh, packing vlog. I'm not sure. I'm sure though I will do some more like moving content. So once we, you know, pack up and things like that. But stay tuned to find out where we are moving. Uh, I will say it's been quite the adventure figuring all of this out. If you are here for the ride, then make sure you're subscribed. I would love it if you did that. You can also follow me on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch. I'm sharing a little bit like behind the scenes stuff and more like day to day updates and things like that. But I will see y'all in the next one. Uh, if you want to catch up on any of my videos, you can do that here and I'll see you in the next one. Love y'all. Bye.